Hi, my name is Chella Saya, and I work in the Office of Research and Sponsored Programs, an office that supports hundreds of STOUT students each year to present their work at research conferences and events. This video is designed for any student who's presenting a poster at one of these or other events and wants to make sure that their poster and their work is understandable to a wide audience, is persuasive and memorable. Please note that your faculty mentor or instructor is your ultimate guide when it comes to presenting a poster in your field of study and their guidance supersedes anything that I might share in this video. If you haven't been to a research conference, you might be wondering where you'll be and how it will be set up. Typically, you'll be in a large conference hall like you see here with posters set up in rows. There'll be conference attendees who will be walking by and milling around. But how do you get those people to stop and talk to you? And then what do you actually say? I've divided what you do and say into three parts, the hook, the gist, and the closer. First, just be welcoming. Try not to stand back and wait for someone to approach you. Instead, look people in the eye as they walk by, smile, use open posture that lets them know that you're interested in talking with them. Then, of course, you should say something. You could keep it simple by asking, can I tell you about my project? Or could I have a couple minutes of your time? Or you could be more creative by sharing a surprising or interesting statistic or fact, or even sharing a brief personal story that relates to the project. Once you pull them in, make sure to introduce yourself by sharing your name, university, and major or field of study. Next, share the gist. In other words, take a couple minutes to summarize the project. Think about sharing the problem you were trying to solve, the high level methods you used to solve that problem, and the major themes of the results. Finally, highlight the conclusions and where the project might go next. Remember, people have a wide range of understanding of your subject, so that's why I recommend keeping it simple in these first couple minutes. You'll have an opportunity to dig into details in the final step. That's in the closer. This is where you invite questions. You could say, Simply, what questions do you have? Or what interests you most about the project? Or what could I clarify for you? At this point, you might find that the person has quite a bit of knowledge about your topic and will have very detailed questions. Or you might find that the person doesn't have any questions at all and they're ready to move on to another presenter, which is perfectly fine. In either case, make sure to thank them for their time. You could say, thanks so much for stopping by my poster. I really enjoyed speaking with you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. If appropriate, you could also invite follow-up by offering a business card or asking for theirs or highlighting the QR code or email that you may have included on the poster. For example, you could say, I'd love to continue our conversation. Do you have a business card that I could take? Or here's my email if you'd like to reach out after the conference. Okay, now that we covered the three parts of what to say, I want to provide some steps to actually craft that conversation. First, just draft your script. Make sure you're using simple language and avoiding terms specific to your fields of study and acronyms because that's often where people will get lost. As you're writing, remember you're telling a story, the story of the project. Next, read it out loud and time it. See what you can cut to bring it down to two or three minutes if possible. Once you revised it, it's a good time to practice with a friend. Ideally, find someone who is not in your same major or class so that they don't have any background knowledge of the project. That's helpful because they can provide feedback about what would be unclear to someone who has not been studying that topic for months. Finally, make revisions and practice it until you feel comfortable. And that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to ORSP through any of the channels you see on this slide, in particular our email address, which is rs at uwstout.edu. Thank you.